looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Coins, look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head on over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over a few things. We got Legend Saturday, some Super Bowl stuff, and a few other things that I do want to cover in this video, guys. Super excited for the Super Bowl promo that will be the special stream tomorrow night. I believe 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. So if you guys are Pacific time, you know, subtract the time accordingly. Central time, subtract the time across the country. I personally don't know those exact time uh, exchanges, but you guys probably do. So if not, you can go to one of those world clocks. But anyways, point is, special stream tomorrow night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. Super excited for the special stream. Super Bowl promo, you know, it's going to be it's a big promo, guys. Remember, Super Bowl promo is pretty much the last NFL season promo, right? Now, NFL honors and all that other stuff technically counts, but like this is the last one that goes based off of in-season performances, right? Because NFL honors is postseason, like not postseason, it's during season, but you know what I mean? Like the award ceremonies based from weeks past. This is gonna be the last one that actually you get the awards based on that week, right? So like Super Bowl promo will release players based on Super Bowl performances. Like, so that is this current week. The NFL honors is going over you know the regular season. That's past stuff already. And then after that, that's it, guys. That's it. Like we're, there's gonna be plenty of other cool promos, but this is the last NFL, you know, 2020, 2021 season stuff. Like that's it. So that's really exciting. Hopefully you guys are excited for the Super Bowl, you know, culmination of the year. And of course the post game content, which is always super cool. And hopefully if they can get back to the blockbuster and a few other things, it'll still be fun regardless. But anyways, guys, let's get into the video. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Turn the notification bell down below. Always like the video, guys. Remember, like and commenting helps out the videos a lot. So if you guys could like and comment on every video, it would help. The algorithm, that's how it works. Let's get the channel going, guys. Sub always like. And just comment something. Say what's up. Say your, say your favorite player. Say your favorite NFL team. Say the, where you think Deshaun Watson is going. Let me know down below. Keep me up to date with what you guys think. But that's about it. Let's get into the legends and a few other things. Remember the Super Bowl, we did have leaked. Uh, it was Super Bowl first down. It looks like the currency. So remember, there will be some currency conversion there, a different currency. So training probably will take a little. It won't really move too much during the Super Bowl promo, perhaps. It really just depends. But let's head on over, guys, to these sets and check out some of the legends. Then we'll go over some more stuff towards the end. So stay tuned for that. Now, legends is definitely coming to an end pretty soon, guys. So work done and Justin Smith are our Saturday legends now. Work done, if you guys remember, he was one of the Team Diamond Beast earlier in the year uh, for the Buccaneers. He was like the fastest running back in the game, besides Barry Sanders, of course. But work done was more affordable. You know, Barry was the master. It was a crazy price, right? But work done was insane. He was a budget beast for not one. He was a beast and then a budgety, well, a budgety version of Barry Beast, right? Not budget. So a set requires a ton of players here. Now, if you guys go on down to all the other sets, you see that honestly, I'm not. I don't know if I'm a fan of how many players it's taken all year to complete these sets. You need a lot of overalls to go, and you know, in years past, never was like that. You need double of just about everything. In years past, it wasn't like that. It used to be just, you know, there was one per. I guess it's to keep prices down or maybe, you know, whatever. But work done. Are any of his pieces up yet? Probably not. It'll probably take a few minutes. I will open some packs maybe to see if I can pull them. We also got Justin Smith right in for the 49ers. Super cool as well. Always love Justin Smith, especially in Madden, guys. If you played Madden again, like I always reference Madden 13, he was like all these guys just, you know, throwbacks. Some of these guys look like legends to newer players, but when I used to play Madden, like what was that like eight years ago seven years ago those weren't you know those weren't new uh, legends those were current players or you know in madden like those are my day one players uh specifically like arian foster and a few of those guys that i do see from time to time but let's move it on down let's check out the auction block actually let's open up some packs let's see what packs are there what is viable today what can we do here i want to open like one i don't want to open up i do not want to open up a legend fantasy pack let's see if there's something better here if there's not We'll rip something else oh let's see let's see I don't, I don't really like legend fantasy packs they're too much money for what you get back let's see we do have some trophies uh can we get something here that's decent probably not right nope okay let's go to players we'll open up a few get a golds i mean get a golds have been horrible for me all year all year they've been horrible but i, I always feel lucky with these packs i feel lucky i like i see everyone just get all these pulls out of them but it's very unlikely it's highly unlikely but we're going to we're going to test our luck we're going to see oh there's an all pro fantasy pack actually let's let's try these Let's try these. These sound a little bit better. All right. So first card in the pack, we got a rookie. Chase Claypool. No picture, actually. That's interesting. Gold. Uh, We got Jeff Gladney. Silver and a gold. Okay. So we're going to take Gladney. We're going to take Claypool. And we're going to take Willie Snee. Oh, we're going to take the whole round. I forget how these work. All right. We got a Halloween player right here. Let's see. We get 79 Kevin Pierre Lewis. Not too great. We get an elite right here. Okay. So we get DJ Reader. Another elite. We get Juju Smith-Schuster. Another elite. Woo. Lane Johnson and another elite. All right, I will take that and that. Hold up, actually, there's a better one. All right, hold up, hold up. 
what are the odds on these packs real quick before we go check out the players because that was a pretty good pack i'm gonna open up another one i probably didn't get my coins back but it really wasn't that bad okay so 84 plus is 68 percent okay so the odds are pretty good to pull but i think it's only one you don't have to pull four you know what i mean well the whole pack with the whole last pack was pretty much elite um okay so we got gold alex smith the key here is probably hitting in the first round Ooh, the 50 can we get a full one here 83 to white freeney that'd be crazy if we did though can't expect to pull like that all right i don't know why i keep selecting and right, we get a gold to start all right so we got bryce callahan he just got a team of the year actually another halloween player it's always those low ones 79 andy isabella Ooh, full legend animation 89 jerome Ooh, full legend 89 jerome bettis that's actually not bad can you imagine pulling the new legends out of here another elite here so we can take two so anthony harris i'll take jerome i'm gonna open up another one because i did get a full legend flash there so that could have been one of the new ones you know uh, i don't think jerome bettis goes for more than probably like 15k max maybe less but at least if I keep the coins equal, you know, it's still a good chance at pulling something, so I'll take it. One more gold pack here. Uh, let's see, let's see, and we get Steve Atwater. We're getting some, we're getting some legend flashes though. All right, so we get a team of the week here. Always a low one, always a low one. We get another a high elite, I believe, right? Nope, 80 Orlando Brown. Ooh, what do we got here? Let's see what this is. 91 Wyatt Teller. That's actually really good. That's a 91 overall heavyweight card. All right, and we get another elite right here. Let's see. Okay, you know what? I'm not, I can't complain. And those Team of the Week players, I think, go in the sets right now. So people probably are paying decent price. Okay, before we get to the Legends, guys, I got to open up one more. These are pretty hot right now. I think I'm actually positive. I think Y Teller probably goes for like 30 something K, maybe a little bit more. All right. Can we just hit in the first round? That's what I want to hit. Oh, Dante Hightower. Okay. Okay, Hightower in the first. Definitely a good hit right there. That's like probably a few K alone, which is going to make a big difference. Okay, we got 86 Lawrence Taylor. Not bad. We got a 50 card right here. What do we got? What do we got? 86 Randy Moss. Ooh, a team of the week card. 80 Daniel Sorison. Elite Juju Smith Schuster. Okay, so honestly, not bad. Okay. But we're checking out. We're gonna check out all these prices later after the video, of course. Let's go check out the legends, guys. We tried our luck. We pulled some we pulled a full legend though, right? Full full drone. That that's that's a title right there. I pulled the full legend. I don't pull them that often. If you guys have been around the channel long enough, you know my pack luck is horrendous. Maybe I don't open enough. It's possible. It's very possible. Uh, maybe I just open up packs. Maybe I don't risk it for the biscuit, but I'm analytical. Never been my thing. I don't know. I, I don't like to risk things. Uh, it's not my thing, but I got I to gotta get more into that probably. Let's filter by newest and check out these new legends real quick. Work done is up on the block. Rocking the rocking the cap or a uh, snapback, whatever they're called. 95 speed, 97 excel, 97 agility, Ooh, 94 catching, 94 carrying, sorry, 81 catching, 98 change of direction, 97 break tackle. Work done's an absolute beast. Now he can't get the 96 speed, but he is going to get the Excel, the Agility, the Change of Direction, the Catching, and the Break Tackle. This card's going to be an all-around monster. Work Dunn's one of the best running backs in the game. Again, still slower than Bo, which concerns me because I know Bo's going to get outdone in speed pretty soon. It's like this game loves to make Bo the fastest running back for a while. They always get, they always drop out back in time, like at Christmas. The same thing last year, around Christmas, and then continuously keep dropping running backs that are slightly slower. Catching traffic's good. Medium route running is good. Break tackle, of course. Good short running is 88. That's going to be phenomenal on like little angle routes or out routes or flat routes. There's going to be some really good routes you can run with that short route running right there. So I actually like that. Work done. Maybe the best running back in the game just off that alone, considering he can run routes too. And then we got Justin Smith, right end for the San Francisco 49ers. 90 speed, 91 excel. That's actually really good. You know, end zone always get that speed. Outside linebackers do, not always defensive ends. 95 strength, 97 tackle, 92 play rec, 98 block shed, 97 power move. He can get 99 block shed or power move. Could he have been powered up from this point? He would have gotten both. But this card's insane. Justin Smith is an insane legend. Him and Work Done are two of the best players at their position. And Scratch that they may be the two best players at their position. It really depends. You have to compare them to some other people. But if we do a quick comparison, from what I've gathered, I believe they are the best at their position. I'd have to check it out real quick. But let me check it out. Let's go up to type and right end. I believe, I, I don't think they cross some other people. So Trey Hendrickson may come close in a few things off the rip. But Trey Hendrickson will be less athletic. And nope, nope, Trey Hendrickson's not even close. I thought the speed was a bit better on him. Uh, John Abraham would be the only comparable comparison, maybe. The, okay, the speed's there, but the block shed and the... Oh, no, no. Justin Smith's a beast. And if you compare work done real quick to Aaron Foster and Bo Jackson, that's probably the only comparable comparisons at this point. Uh, let's go check out uh, Bo Jackson. So in, in terms of acceleration and agility, 
work done has him killed. Catching work done has him killed. Change of direction work done has him killed. And break tackle. The only thing's going to be the plus one speed on Bo. But I actually think I'd take a work done over him just for that alone. And then, of course, Arian Foster is the other one. But I think Arian Foster gets beat as well. Let's see. No, they're pretty close. They're actually pretty close. It's going to come down pretty much to the trucking, which Arian Foster kills him on. Uh, it comes down to probably route running. Can he run a decent route? Oh, okay. So Arian Foster is almost identical, if not better, than work done. But they're super close. They're definitely super close. But guys, it's better for the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Turn the notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always, guys. And always comment. Comment and liking so key to the channel. Keep it up, boys. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys need coins for any of these legends or for the Super Bowl promo on Monday, head over to my reserve down below and use code Poodle for an additional discount at checkout. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.